and D is asking, uh, the German parliament approved a resolution labor, labeling Ukraine's, what is that? Holod, how do you Holdemar? pronounce that? Holodomor, Holodomor? As, a yeah, sure. as, Holodomor, as a genocide. Many countries do not, including the U.S. What are your thoughts on this? I actually don't know much about this, but let's uh, look at the article. Do you know much no. about this? Okay. I will say when you I, start typing it into when you start typing it into Google, one of the very first results that comes up well, is uh, Holodomor and then genocide. So I guess you know, that's that's interesting. Um, but yeah, this is something that I, I'm, I'm not familiar with. So I would argue before we even have to learn anything about it, okay? I would argue, and tell me if I'm way off base here, Armin, but if ultimately at the end of this, the deaths were almost entirely focused on either a specific ethnicity, a specific cultural background, a specific language, these types of things, I would probably say... I would think it was it was a genocide. Um, if it was, right. if it was, well, because if you're if you're specifically targeting a group based on their ethnicity, right. they're they're back, right, right. So, if this was a specific event that was that was targeting these people, whether they said it explicitly or not, right, it would it would qualify as a genocide. That's what I would say. But I mean, yeah, I I would. Let's learn about it. Let's see what what happened. You know, ISIS. Okay, I'm I'm gonna let my bias show. Okay, okay. I suspect before looking into it, and tell me if I'm off here. Okay, I suspect if the German Parliament has labeled it as a genocide, it's probably a genocide. You know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm yeah. just playing Occam's you're razor. Right. You're probably yeah. right. You're probably yeah. right. We should keep, we should look into we it. Should, we, we absolutely should, should before we yeah. de determine that. But you're yes, right. you're probably. Right. <laughs> you're probably <right>. So, <laughs> so Germany's parliament on Wednesday approved a resolution labeling uh, as genocide Ukraine's 1930 Holodomor, uh, a famine believed to have killed more than three million Ukrainians under the repressive rule of Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. Yeah, I mean Stalin. Uh, he does he does stuff like that. So it's within character. Hmm. Uh, wow. The resolution was brought to the lower house or Bundestag by the three parties in Chancellor Olaf Scholz's governing coalition and the main opposition bloc. After a debate attended by Ukraine's ambassador to Germany, it passed with their support in a show of hands while the two other opposition parties abstained. The vote comes days after Ukraine's marked the 90th anniversary of the start of the famine. The resolution states that mass. Okay, it's not giving me much information about what actually. Uh, yeah. What uh, or how did they come up with this conclusion? Uh, I could. Oh, there we go. Here, this is the part that we wanted. Academic opinion remains remains divided about whether the famine constitutes a genocide with the main question being whether Stalin intentionally wanted to kill Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainians as an attempt to quash an independence move, movement against the Soviet Union, or whether the famine was primary, primarily the result of official incompetence along with natural conditions. Can I Regardless, jump that? Yes. So, so... I think I think that's an interesting statement for sure and I think that the first part of that statement the 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 intention to specifically enact a genocide isn't the requirement for a genocide for something to be labeled a genocide right if if even if you don't intentionally decide I'm going to kill all of these people right if the result is one where it is specifically targeting a group of people based on their national identity, based on their ethnic heritage, yada, 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 then it is still a genocide. But that second part of that statement, I do think actually is important, which is the reason that these individuals died could have been related to complete and total incompetence on an official capacity. And that incompetence ultimately affected these people more than anybody else. 
as opposed to a policy that specifically um, directly resulted in, in in these this group of people's death, right? If if again there is crap government going on for years and years and years and crap science for years and years and years, which was the case in the Soviet Union, um, then it is I can understand that argument a little bit better. Uh, but again, I, I don't think I don't think we need a statement from Stalin that specifically says, I hate these people. I want to genocide them before you can call something a genocide. Is it do you think that's a fair distinction or Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for me, all it comes down to is those academics when it says they're divided. What do you think? I think you're like, okay, but what percentage? Ah, uh, like yeah, I definitely, yeah, yeah. If we're talking like, if we're talking like fifty-fifty, that is definitely okay. a lot different than oh, all acad, you know, the academics are divided, and the divide is like ninety-nine to one, like yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, like all I, all academics except. Bob over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, also, I want to see if the academics that agree, disagree with the genocide thing are they Russian academics? You know what I mean? Like, I, I that will be. <laughs> like maybe question, they're divided. Too. Maybe they're divided. Maybe it's 50 50, but the 50 who <laughs> disagree happen to all be Russian. So yeah, I want to yeah, know that yeah. as well. <laughs> that's like, that's like, that's like, you know academics are divided on climate change and it's like oh really how are, what's the division and it's like well there's all of these people who study it who totally agree it's freaking happening and then there's this guy that get paid a lot of money by that young yeah. earth creationist group and it's like oh that's not a division as much as yeah. like, come on so i guess we need more information we need to look at like how what what For percentage sure. they're divided and who is the divided for sure yeah. Uh, D is saying withholding of food during war was only really propagated in the Biafra? what is that Biafra, Biafra war, but it is common, unfortunately. Okay, mm. okay, mm. okay. That was interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. get my best-selling book, "Why There Is No God," for free. Click on the link for it in the description.